Hey everyone, got another test server game here. And I got a lot of footage before there was a patch on the test server. Probably not going to end up showing it just because I don't really want to put out like outdated test server stuff. Especially because it's being changed so often. So I'm just going to not upload them. Sorry if I said I would in the comments, but yeah, probably not anymore. But I am going to show this whole game. It's kind of long, but I just want to show the whole thing because <clears throat> a lot of this stuff is new. You go for the magpies here. It's one of my favorite tier ones. The fact that you can just save gold and spend it on the next turn when you're gonna find better animals is really good. I love it. Also got a nice sombrero hat. I like that uh they've introduced a lot of new hats and I really like most of them. Some of them are like kinda uh okay, but a lot of them are really really good, so I am happy with the hats. Get an African penguin, pretty much just a tier two otter, except the buff, instead of going to more friends, it goes. It just increases the stats it gives. So, kind of better than the than an otter. It's like the uh, pre patch otter. Pretty nice. And also, you may see they have like uh, animations of your pets going onto the field. I'm a really big fan of that. It looks so nice, especially the rocket one I'm using. I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to level up my African penguin because there's some food. I probably put it in the thumbnail, it's called a waffle. The waffle, when you feed it to a pet, it reactivates the buy ability. Not even as a level 1, just the buy ability. So if you put it on a level 3 African penguin, it's gonna give something 6-3. And for a food that only costs 3, that is pretty good. So that is why I'm trying to level up the African penguin. I mean it's also just good stats, so yeah. Do have the stoats, I'm gonna try to keep it on my team for a while. And then, okay, so you do get it level 2. So later on, we could sell it and hopefully get like a 1-1, one, one, but level 2, tier 5, 6 maybe. I don't know. That would be pretty good. Royal Flycatcher, very good at sniping that uh, Golden Retriever. But also, I think Royal Flycatcher might be one of the best pets of the pack. Only because it counters so many um good pets. Some of the best pets right now are the summoning ones, like Slug and Wolf. Wolf especially, I'm surprised it didn't get nerfed because when it faints, it spawns 3 pigs. And that's pretty, really good stats. So the fact that you could have a Royal Flycatcher and snipe them all is pretty good. I mean, I guess Iguana does it, but you know, Iguana's not in this pack. So if you're using custom packs, maybe, but I do think Royal Flycatcher is better. Because it also gains stats, also. It's a tier 2, I don't know. I do find an oyster, one of my favorite uh, new pets. Well, it's like a love-hate relationship. In this pack I like it, because it basically gives you a free gold. However, it might be broken in custom packs with buy sell, so we'll have to see. Probably not going to be playing custom packs for a bit, just because when I tried <clears throat> um, yesterday when it first came out, or the test server first came out, it was a lot of like AI or generated teams, so not like real people. That was kind of a bummer because it led to a lot of easy wins and it just didn't feel very nice, so. Might wait a little. We do buy avocados, gonna give us more gold next turn, and with our oyster, <clears throat> we are gonna be getting a lot of money. A lot of trumpets. Luckily, uh, we only get them to one pet left, so we only lose one life. Pretty nice. Yeah, 16 gold plus the oyster, now we have 20. And also does it look like 20 is the max because it did not say maxed out. Yeah, we get the blue ringed octopus. One of, it's kind of what I wanted from the stoat. Um, basically, when you buy it, you give all friends 2-2. Two -two. So it's pretty much a snail, but you don't need to lose. And that's really good because with the waffle that I mentioned earlier, we could just keep feeding it waffles and it will keep buffing up our team. We also get some Birds of Paradise. I think the best scaler in this pack because a lot of the scalers aren't great. But Bird of Paradise is basically a guaranteed give everything 1-1 one, one on your team. And that's pretty good. <clears throat> Maybe not in like other packs. Maybe not in custom packs, but in this pack that is very good. So that'll help us scale a lot. Golden Retrievers with the Trumpets. We're gonna lose to that for a while just because Trumpets can be broken like early on just get like a 50 50 
but later on we should be able to beat the trumpet teams because trumpets it can only get you a 50 50 golden retriever which sounds like a lot but if your whole team is focused on getting that 150 50 it's not going to be so great late game <clears throat> here you can see the royal flycatcher doing its job just destroys the slug destroys the wolf and yeah that we might not have won without it I do have the oyster frozen, but not really using it. Just looking for waffles right now. Waffles are very, very good. Giving plus 8, 8. And if we could level up the um, blue ring octopus, gonna be giving plus 12, 12 in total. That is insane for just 3 gold, but <clears throat> it is a little situational. I have used it on the African penguin before, so it only gives like 6, 3 in that case, but depending on what animal you use it on, it can be very good. And our scaling is turn 12. We already have like 30 30s pretty much. That is way better than I've usually seen. I feel like this pack scaling is way harder than other packs. There's not a lot of permanent scaling, I feel like. But I don't know, I haven't played that much either, so not quite sure. Yeah, this team's also running double Birds of Paradise. I would recommend getting one if you see a Bird of Paradise. Probably one of the best pets. Yeah, level 3 Blue Ring Octopus. 12-12 from just a single waffle. Very good. I'm also going to be looking for another food. <coughs> uh, there we go. A bead of bread. I saw in coffee a lot, so I'll explain it soon. Need a drink of water. As you can see, yeah, the trumpets, we were able to beat it just because of our scaling. But yeah, pita bread. Basically, depending on how much attack you have, that is how much uh, damage you're going to block. So it's basically melon armor, but it's not always 20, it depends on your attack. So late game, that becomes way way better because you could potentially block 50 damage. It's like, really good. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be good if your attack is less than 20, but you probably wouldn't even give anything like melon or pita bread if it has less than 20 attacks. So. It is way better. <clears throat> I feel like in custom packs, there's going to be no need to run melon. Maybe not no need, but I would almost always run pita bread instead. Yeah, it's kind of just like coconut armor at some point, but our 50-50s are going to do the job. Pretty nice win. Also, I like this how you like spend your snacks to get a hat at the end. Kind of cool. Kind of like a raffle or I don't know, gotcha, whatever. But yeah, nice win. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you have a nice day. See ya.